So I'm taking a little vacation here on the island of Viz in Croatia and uh, to my delight I discovered that there are movie scenes on set jetters here on this island. However, they are a bit of a hike away over the other side of this mountain. So good thing I vacation with my hiking gear. So let's see if we can track down some Mamma Mia part two scenes on the island of Viz. First stop though is to stop in at the local bakery to get some food for the trail. So I've got my local bread snack uh, filled with marmalade and um, I'm now just figuring out the route. As you saw on the Set Jetters app, uh, it gave directions um, that were a bit limited to just a kind of a path that could be traveled by a car. We need to go over this mound here. There's two ways to get there, by boat or by hiking over there. Google Maps actually shows a trail, so that's what I'm gonna hopefully find. Um, but if you have a kayak or a boat, you can just pop around this peninsula here. I'm gonna show you the easy footway. It starts with a walk through town. I said easy, but actually I haven't done it yet, so we'll check back in on that. So this is the town of Kamija where I am staying and I left from in here, walked through the town and came up this path here and this is where the road ends. So from here we need to find a trail up over the mountain. So far this is a stunning hike. You can see the old town of Kamija here um, on the far side of the island of Vis. We're on one of the furthest Dalmatian islands. Um, the furthest from Split. Uh, it takes about one and a half hour direct ferry. There are some other ferry lines that will get you here as well. And then a 45 minute bus ride over the mountain because the ferry will take you to Viz, which is on the other side. Um, and then a, and a bus will take you over to here. But this is a gorgeous town and we'll explore this after our hike. There are pathways all over this island that have been carved by thousands of years of human habitation from the Romans to the Venetians to the Slavs to the modern day Croatians, leading to little olive gardens and private properties. But fear not, there's little red and white markers that will mark the main path, taking you around the island to the bay where the Mamma Mia scenes are. So the first view that you'll get of the Mamma Mia 2 scenes will be from the path, looking down into the cove here. You can see the little pier where some of the scenes were shot, but we're gonna keep following this path that will hopefully loop us down to the bay. So here we have arrived at the bay, also just in time to be joined by a boatload of tourists. So let's get down close onto the pier and see if we can grab some of these scenes. So for those familiar with the movie or even just looking at the scenes on set jetters, you'll notice that the production built an additional little wooden pier uh, that jutted out from the end of this concrete one. So that will make getting some of the shot sinks a little more difficult because you just won't have access to some of the angles. Maybe you could get creative with a stand-up paddleboard or a boat. It is a great shot sink you can get from here where I'm standing that looks out across this bay. We will now rejoin the trail to get some of the shot sinks that are higher up and look down into the bay. You might think uh, from the scenes uh, and of course being on a wider trail uh, that there is car access. I'm sure there is for some of the locals, but it's certainly not marked on Google Maps or our Set Jetters map. Um, speaking to the locals, it's very much a hiking trail, unless I guess you're in the know. So to get this scene with the road lined up, uh, the concrete pier and the island in the background, you can get it, but you do gotta get off this road, which requires just a little bit of a scramble uh, up to a vantage point that allows you to shoot down and get everything in the shot. So the hike from Kamija to these Mamma Mia scenes took me about an hour and 45 minutes a little bit longer than what Google says, which is about an hour and five minutes. That said, I was moving slowly, stopping to take a lot of videos and photos, but I do recommend you allow a little bit of extra time because it is beautiful and you'll want to take your own photos. Uh, the path is reasonably easy for someone that's moderately fit. I recommend some good walking shoes or walking sandals and definitely bring your swimmers. Or not, it is a nude friendly beach. So the return hike to Kamija is stunning. You get a view of the town the whole way back. I am back in the town of Kamija and the return hike took me exactly one hour and five minutes as Google predicted, but I was moving quickly and didn't stop to take a lot of photos. Now, if you're looking for a place to eat dinner in Kamija, can I recommend this restaurant, Bako, for locally grilled fish? But I will admit, the greatest attraction of this restaurant is its location with tables right on the waterfront. My hot tip is to reserve a table for sunset. Mm -hmm. 